And to say something. Yeah, I just wanted to say that because you know uh, Mr. Kraft was unavailable. Uh, he couldn't. He couldn't. Uh, uh, you know, uh, come on TV today. But that's why he's, he's, he sent us that uh, statement, and everybody should have it now. Obviously, yeah. uh, this is a man that loves Tom Brady like a son. Mm -hmm. And I remember speaking to him before Tom Brady uh, walked away. He said, "If Tom Brady wanted to stay, we would have found a way to make it happen, no matter what." For him, I would have done that. He said, but after all the things he did for us, he deserved the right to do what he wants yeah. to do. And usually in the world of business, obviously success reaps revenue and all of this other stuff. Most owners are not making that call. But he made that for Tom Brady. He was yeah. willing to, you know, because Tom Brady went to him and obviously he was a free agent. But it didn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kraft facilitated that happening because that's the level of love and affection he has for a guy that he believes yeah. has earned it, and we all know has earned it. Absolutely. So, says a lot. Loving him enough to let him go and find his happiness elsewhere. That yeah. takes a big person. One other thing I want to highlight, Mina, and great to see you, by the way, Mina Kimes, uh, when he said you didn't have to be a Patriots fan to respect and appreciate his competitiveness, and that is absolutely so true. Uh, Mina, your reaction to this being official, yeah, um, I guess what strikes me about it is that Tom Brady not only defied the odds coming into the league, which we've discussed, of course, for years and years, his draft status and what he overcame, but that he also defied them exiting the NFL. You know, I, I remember the first time he said he was going to play until 45, I think it was 2017, and I also remember my reaction, which was, no way. <laughs> like, this guy's mm -hmm. nuts. This is not going to happen. He's not yeah. going to play until he's 45. That's never... Never been done before. And not only that, he's not going to do it at a high level. The fact that he went to Tampa, won the Super Bowl, and then this season, his final year in the NFL, age 44, led the league in passing yards, MVP candidate, led the league in touchdowns, it defies logic. And you guys know, we've covered this league for a long time. Superstars don't leave on top. How many quarterbacks have we watched at the very end, you know, talk about Breeze, Manning, Roethlisberger, where it was so clearly time for them to leave and everybody knew it. But Tom Brady could have played for several more seasons and continued to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And I just think that per might be the most remarkable thing he accomplished because like a lot of people, I did not think it was possible. Me personally, like I said, I don't blame him for making this decision. Uh, I wish him nothing but the best. He's treated us to so many phenomenal moments over the years, Mina. I'm not about to second guess that. Uh, I will tell you that he's still so good and he still has such yeah. a profound impact. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted it would have been nice to see him in one last Super Bowl, win, lose, or draw. Just seeing him in a moment with everything on the line. Yeah. It's me or you, it's 60 minutes left. The winner's the champion, mm -hmm. the loser's the runner-up. 22 years wasn't enough. No, no, no. I'm not saying it wasn't enough. I'm just saying <laughs> that, you know what, you know, listen, listen. I mean, we eat every day, don't we? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you <laughs> always times. Wanna, you always want to eat. So I'm just saying that, that that that's the one thing. Because he's so good and he has yeah. the ability to lead the way that he does, you know, I really, really wish that, you know, this Super Bowl coming up, it would have been him with one final moment. Yeah. Me personally. Guess what? But, Hey, now, yeah. you, now you're just going to have to watch the ESPN Plus documentary. <laughs> well, I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Mina, one more thing before we let you roll. Just looking at Tampa now, because obviously uh, yeah. they have a predicament and they need a quarterback. Who do you think could be a good fit down there? Well, you know, it, it's not a great market for free agents and somewhat ironically the best available option is probably Jameis Winston who mm -hmm. we know is a fit with uh, the kind of football Bruce Arians likes to play he likes tall pocket passers big armed quarterbacks to me makes more sense than like a I don't know Jimmy Garoppolo or a Marcus Mariota um, I wouldn't be surprised if Tampa considers that though I, I know it sounds crazy given the fact that they let him walk and it's the same uh, front office that drafted him, but it really reflects the lack of options both in the draft and in free agency. And, and the thing to remember, Molly, oh. this is still a good yeah. football team. They still mm. want to compete, mm. so sure I don't is. think they're going to sit this year out. This is the problem with brilliant people like me to come. So let me tell you what the problem is. Why? Let me tell you what the problem is. <laughs> Certain things are simplistic, and she won't make them. You know what the answer is to that question, Mina? <laughs> Nobody. There is no replacement. <laughs> 
There's nobody. Oh, I thought you were going to say Aaron Rodgers. There's nobody. There's nobody. Tampa, if I were Bruce Arians, I would retire. I mean, how old is he now? I mean, you've done enough. You're a Super Bowl champion. You finally got over the hump. What the hell are you sticking around Ooh. for? I mean, he's a, he's there in Tampa. No state they income taxes. He's got enough money. Even though I don't want to be in anybody's pocket. He's got enough money. If I were Bruce Arians, what the hell are you going to get? Who's out there? Would you going to bring Jimmy G to Tampa? What you doing? It's over. Okay, so the moments that he's had over these last two years, Tom Brady's commitment, his precision, his motivational skills, his leadership ability, all of those things on top of his ability to throw the damn football. Kaput, gone. He said goodbye. You're not getting somebody to replace Tom Brady that's going to come close to measuring up, which might cause no. Bruce Arians. Do we see how, do, I mean, do we see how Bruce Arians looks sometimes? I mean, he looks like, uh, listen, I ain't wishing nothing on him. I want beautiful health, live a long, prosperous life. But sometimes he looks very, very stressed on those sidelines. What did you say, Mina? He looks very, very stressed. And <laughs> I look at him and I say, well, you know what? Face, it gets Without Tom pain. Brady, yeah. it's not going to get better. Bruce Arians might be the next to go. It's not going to get better, but he's a a competitor. This is still a Super Bowl caliber defense when they're healthy. They're keeping Todd Bowles, it looks like. We'll see what happens with Byron Leftwich. Stephen A., who's going to win the NFC South? Excuse me, the NFC South. Wait, wait, why, why? So that's where we're going now? So, in other words, we're going from Super Bowl contention to who's going to win the NFC South. That's like I'm asking me saying, who's going to win the NFC Bucks East. Bucs fans need a okay, reason I mean to get the up NFC in the morning. And, and they got to field some. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. Uh, I mean, if I'm, a, if I'm Bruce they, they Arians, it's not Rams. a good situation. Huh? You're not they wrong. Almost, it's not a good situation. It's going to be a downgrade. Tom, no Tom Brady almost beat the Rams. Tom Brady almost beat the Rams. That damn defense. That is true. It was Tom half, Brady. Who and it, and they gave up that fl- and gave up that long pass to Cooper Cup when all you know that all they needed was a field goal. I'm telling you right now, if I'm Bruce Arians, Bruce Arians, my brother, you've done, you've had a successful career. <laughs> you've been around a while. You're in Florida. You're already in the Sunshine State. No state income taxes. Hey. You can keep some of your, most of your money. If I were you, I'd strongly consider him walking out right with Tom Brady. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.